here from 40 Below Fruity. And I'm LJ Jackfruit from LJ Jackfruit's channel. And uh, today we want to talk about how your body can become so sensitive on raw. So, like myself, I've told you guys so many different times that I even had to cut out the toothpaste I was using because it had salt in it. Little things like that. Our bodies, both of us, right? We've gotten so sensitive on raw. And... You know, I kind of envy people a little bit. I know, can, I know. When they can just start eating things, you know, like have nuts and seeds the odd time or something like that that's not necessarily optimal mm -hmm. where they can still eat it. I don't know how, I don't know how they do it. Yeah, and it's kind of like a, a double-edged sword. It's like it is. sometimes I want to go back to my old vegan lifestyle because of freedom that it gave me. Yeah. But then I'd have all the ailments that yeah. went with that. Exactly, exactly. So, so now I... I just keep the big picture in mind exactly. and I think about how much happier and healthier I am and how in good this you feel. Life. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what's needed sometimes. I think Freely talked about once having a pain and a pleasure list. I think that's really important because if you do become sensitive, not all of you will, but some of you will and you might be frustrated. If you are sensitive, I really would hesitate to experiment with your diet. I do not recommend it at all because it's not going to give you the results that you want. It never mm -hmm. will. And you may be in the moment and thinking, oh, it's a really good idea to eat this food because I really want it. I tried to do a little bit of uh, cooked starches earlier yeah. in the year just because a lot of other people in the raw world were doing it. It would take me about two weeks to fully recover from about two starch meals. It affected everything. It affected my athletic performance. Yeah. It affected my mental clarity. Um, it affected how I looked physically. Yeah. yeah. So, so now it's just not worth it to me. Exactly. And I tried a couple things during the summer as well because I was curious too. I thought, mm -hmm. I wonder how my body will react because I know it's been so sensitive. Yeah. I cut out nuts and seeds and salt and all these excess things and tried some steamed corn. That was a disaster. Mm -hmm. Tried some steamed Brussels sprouts. Yeah. I know people are telling me, well, you tried the wrong foods. Well, I don't want potatoes. Like, why would I eat a baked plain potato when I could eat a huge salad the size of my head or bigger? Well, way bigger than that, probably. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, times. we know. <laughs> um, why would I want to try it? Like, I just don't know how to eat cooked food anymore. Mm -hmm. I feel like I would have to restrict where yeah. I can now eat in abundance. So why would I want to change that? Yeah, no, I, I loved the taste of potatoes, sweet potatoes, yeah. yams. And you know what? In the future, <laughs> like I'm talking three, four, five, yeah. seven years down the road, yeah. I may incorporate some, some, some cooked 80-10-10 into my diet again. But for the time being, no way. <laughs> so, so what do you do when you become the sensitive? You, uh, you stick to the lifestyle that makes you feel your best. That is the only answer, and sometimes that means small sacrifices. But I said this before in my video that I did last with um, about the salt, and it's a blessing in disguise. It really yeah. is. I know you don't think it is, but if your body will not tolerate the crappy foods, it means you're going to feel better. It means you are never going to compromise. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, I feel that works for me. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it because I never can give myself an excuse because sometimes you can make an excuse in your mind. Oh, well, I'll just have it this once or, you know what I yeah, mean? You can yeah. talk yourself into things. Yeah. But we can't. No way. And if you're sensitive, you can't. Totally. And it's, it's better that way. I yeah. Feel. And like our bodies yeah. don't fully trust us again yet. Like we abused it with cooked food and crap for years, right? So yeah. now we're giving it so much luscious, healthy, abundant food. It's so happy with us. Yeah. Yeah. And then when we put something in it that, that doesn't it doesn't want. like anymore, yeah. it freaks out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and so it does though it really does it does it really and until does. it can trust us again keep giving it all this good food and it knows and it knows and knows exactly. it's gonna keep getting it then it might yeah. let the leash go a little bit longer yeah and I know some of you might be thinking I don't want to eat another banana I don't want to eat another date I'd love to incorporate some cooked carbohydrates give it a try for yourself see if it works there's no guarantee just because some people are able to do yeah. it just as likely some people are not able yeah, to do it. So exactly. you've got to experiment with yourself. If you feel good doing what you're doing though, there's really no reason to change just because some raw food, mm -hmm. I don't know, whatever you call them, leaders or gurus are changing. Yeah. That's their own personal choice and that's great for them. But yeah. it doesn't mean you have to follow any of us in what we say. We're just trying to help give some insight. Exactly. We feel good doing what we're doing though. Yeah, like, we really know, do. I just hooked up a huge batch of dog food for my dog and that <laughs> it's it's good smelling <laughs> food. It's not dog food. It's like beans and potatoes. I'm like, and wow, what is that, Tara? <laughs> yeah, I mean it smelled great, but I looked at it and it's like this big coagulated lump of cooked <laughs> starches and I'm like, I don't want to eat that. That's if I feel how that looks after I eat it, yeah. then there's no way because there's nothing vibrant about it. I can't even eat nuts and seeds anymore either, and I know no. Tara, you can't either. And some people ask why? Why can't you eat 
eat salt. Why can't you eat nuts and seeds? Well, I don't know. We're not scientists. <laughs> I'm not here to present you the science. If you want to read the science, go online. Search for yourself. Yeah. I'm here to base my experience and my advice mm -hmm. on tangible results. Yeah. On what we have experienced. We're not all exactly the same. Science can't always answer all the questions. Like this video on both of our channels, mm -hmm. 40 Below Fruity and LJ Jackford. Yeah. <laughs> subscribe to our channels if you like this information. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> see ya. Oh, 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 oh,